Encinitas today with Best Rate Repair and Termite with Jeff Mudd, where, Jeff, we're doing a lot of wood replacement today. Can you yes. tell me basically what we're doing here and why the homeowner may have called? What did they see that got this project started? So the homeowner called us because they were noticing little signs of dry rot on their front entryway, and you can see it's quite big, a lot of big beams. A lot of wood. And they're getting ready to fix up their house, do a full house payment, uh, painting. Okay. The painting's going to take prepping the house for paint, so there's different steps in that. For us to do that, we came in and did an inspection of all the wood damage that needed to be done. So the, that included the fascia boards in the front, the beams at the entryway, second story fascia board in the back, and a couple other spots on the patio cover. So I want to go back to where you said they spotted a little bit of damage. Can you show me or explain sort of what they saw? And then we'll talk about what you found on the back end of the Yeah, well. so here's a really good example. We have an exposed fascia board and everybody would look at this saying this is just weathered. It does look very weathered. I don't know that I would say it's. I've got major concerns. Should I have major concerns about this? You should, because when you turn it over and you see the backside, oh you, my can, goodness, this you, is, you can see all the dry rot. I it's break this in half it's, it's if I falling to. apart. And this is not something that you would want to put the effort into painting knowing that just in a short amount of time it's going to disintegrate it's going to break off you won't be able to hang your christmas lights from it so yeah. it's definitely what the homeowner can see is not indicative of the full scale of the problem yeah so w when we come through and we do a, a, an estimate for somebody we try to look at the details that they normally wouldn't see every day and in the process we found they also had some termite activity. You can see the galleries and the little pellets down inside. Oh, and this yeah. is on a major beam. Just to play devil's advocate here, worst case scenario, they just came and painted and you didn't do any of this wood repair. What would have happened? So the fungus damage is a living organism. It continues to grow. So if you just paint over it, you're not seeing the growth and the damage that continues on. So eventually, the repair bill is growing larger and larger. Right, so that little corner that you saw that maybe, oh, we can just paint over it, you know, a couple years later down the road. Now, instead of replacing the little corner, you have to replace a lot yeah, more and stuff, so right? so instead of a, a small, quick, uh, one hour, two hour repair on a small area, now you've got an all day or two day project doing, doing a, just a corner of a fascia board that has a roof sheathing. Where a little maintenance can save you a lot of money. Maintenance goes a long way. A long way. So you're replacing a ton of beams here. So let's talk about what you guys do in the process. So on this one, we came in and we removed all the damaged four by sixes that are on top. Then we removed the major beam going across. We had to open up the wall, cut it on top of the stucco columns there, order a new beam, primed and painted it before we installed it, and then they're custom cutting the new beams to go up on top and they tuck in underneath the roof on top of the wall framing. So one of the things we found that we do different. I heard you say you paint and prime before they go on. We paint and prime. And what makes I'll, I'll show you an example of that later. <laughs> but you can see we've got all the big beams sitting out here on a sawhorse. So we prime the wood and paint it before it goes, before we install it. What's the benefit of that? So it seals all the edges. So one, it makes it harder for the fungus to get started and get inside there. And termites, when you they're in the neighborhood, they can't eat through the paint. So They can't eat through paint? They can't eat through the paint. I didn't know that. And they can eat out of the paint. It's kind of an odd thing, so. But not on the way in. Yeah, so this is basically painting and priming beforehand. It's going to give this homeowner some extra longevity to this project. Lots of longevity. It'll make this project last twice as long. So if you're seeing any wood damage around your house, it's great to have an inspection, right? It is. What would go into that? So we go around the house, create a simple diagram, and number of the findings as we go. When we're done with the inspection, we come back, sit down with the homeowner, and explain all those findings to them. And then we create a plan that matches their budget, their desires. Perfect. And that inspection is free? That is free. So you can get your free inspection, and then when you are ready to have any of that work done, you can save 10% up to $500 when you mention approved home pro. So there's another win for you. And if you need anything from Best Rate, give them a call at 619-407-9097.